America's hometown driver has decided to call it a career. Welcome back to Break Hard, I'm Matt. The Athletic is reporting that Martin Truex Jr. will announce his retirement on Friday at his home track at Iowa Speedway. It's been a heck of a career for the guy, right? And once the checkered flag falls at his desert home track in Phoenix this year, he apparently is just going to sail off into the sunset on that new boat he talked about last summer. So Martin Truex Jr., of course, has had a fantastic NASCAR Cup Series career, one that has spanned 19 seasons at this point. I mean, when the guy first joined with DEI back in the day and he won at Dover in his second season, you're like, okay, he's getting... He's He's got his feet underneath and we're going to see him start to rack off some wins here. But then he didn't win again until 2013 at Sonoma. And then at the end of that season, Mike Walter Racing folds and his sponsorship is gone and he's left kind of in purgatory and he goes over to join Furniture Row Racing, which is the best thing that's ever happened to him because he goes on to win the 2017 NASCAR Cup Series Championship with this small team from Denver, Colorado that had an alliance with Joe Gibbs Racing and they conquered the NASCAR world. 34 NASCAR Cup Series victories, one championship, three second place runner-up finishes in the championship, along with two NASCAR Xfinity Series titles, 13 Xfinity Series wins, and a Truck Series win. I mean, that is a Hall of Fame career for Martin Truex Jr. Guys that have done substantially less than that have made it into the Hall of Fame. Martin Truex Jr. will 100% be a first ballot Hall of Famer, and he deserves it at this point. At the end of the day, it just seems like his team didn't want to wait around for the third year in a row as he kind of Brett Favre's this decision, deciding whether or not he wants to come back. Yes, he no, he didn't. Uh, I'm not sure. They decided to apparently give him a deadline for the end of this month, and now it sounds like he will announce his retirement on Friday at his home track of Iowa Speedway. So for Martin, it's coming up on a year since his last win at his last home track of New Hampshire, which was a good win for him at the point, but since then, they've really kind of fallen off. And him and James Small have never really seemed to be on the same page like he and Cole Pern were for those years where they were dominating. But for Martin, he's had the heck of a career arc, right? He went to DEI, and that, of course, fell off immediately. He was with Earnhardt Ganassi for that one season. Then goes over to Michael Waltrip Racing, tries to build something over there with them, has a Napa sponsorship, the 56 car. Had a lot of speed in 2013, only got one win when he probably deserved to have three or four that season that team shuts down and now he's like all right where is he going to go now he ends up at the 78 car furniture racing which at the time didn't seem like a great career move uh, because kurt bush had just gotten out of that car he couldn't win with him now is martin going to be able to win with him at the time they were rumored to be trying to go after ryan blaney and it's like these guys don't necessarily seem like the best place for him ends up winning a championship and then of course joe gibbs racing came calling as the grim reaper and took Barney Visser and that team out of their misery, didn't allow them to continue on, and then he moves over to uh, Joe Gibbs Racing, takes his crew chief Cole Pern with him, and he went to a, a top-tier organization, obviously a Tier 1 Toyota team. A great kind of career arc for Martin Truex Jr., and he's been a quiet guy throughout his entire career, right? He's a guy that doesn't really get mixed up in controversy too often. Uh, he, of course, had his run-in with Joey Logano and said he maybe he win the fight, but he's not going to win the damn war. He did end up winning the war, as much as Martin probably doesn't want to talk about that and regrets having that out there. But for Martin, he's had a pretty substantial NASCAR Cup Series career, which has been great for him. And uh, 19 seasons is certainly nothing to be uh, ashamed of in the Cup Series. That is a fantastic career for him. So we'll wait for his formal announcement on Friday, but The Athletic fully expects him to announce his retirement on Friday at Iowa Speedway. Who's his replacement going to be? Well, the kind of rumor mill has been floating around, so maybe Eric Jones could be making a return to Joe Gibbs Racing like he's Jamie McMurray going back to Ganassi. Doesn't seem like that's going to happen. Noah Gragson's name was flo floated out there because he has strong ties to Bass Pro Shops. Of course, the 19 car has Bass Pro Shops as a sponsor with Martin Truex Jr. And then you remember that Ty Gibbs and Noah Gragson hate each other, so that's probably not going to happen because if Ty you know, didn't hate so many people, they'd probably have Corey Heim in-house over there in the Xfinity series, maybe. Uh, so doesn't seem like Noah's going to go over there. Apparently, the name, according to Jeff Gluck and Jordan Bianchi, that is the uh, P1 to land that seat, the Catbird, leader of the clubhouse, is Chase Briscoe, the winner of one NASCAR Cup Series race back in 2022, the fourth race ever for the Gen 7 car. The guys won one Cup Series race in four seasons and some change, but... People are high on him. One team president said that he's a guy that you go out there and sign even if you don't have a spot for him. And that's a little bit perplexing to me because I think Chase Briscoe is a formidable race car driver. I don't think Chase Briscoe is a five-star talent race car driver. Maybe he can develop into that, right? Martin Truex Jr. certainly uh, fit that mold of being a guy that's like, all right, he's won one time. Why would anybody take a risk on him? And then, of course, he you know, turns his career around a solid almost decade into it. So 
Maybe Briscoe is going to be given that length of a, a leash. But he, of course, has great ties to his uh, sponsors, Mahindra uh, Tractors, as well as High Point. And at the end of the day, he does end up getting a decent finish more often than not out of equipment that probably shouldn't be finishing there. So maybe in a top tier team, he can have that performance that so many people are under the belief that he can. Obviously, he has strong Ford ties, but right now, what's on the table for him at Ford isn't a tier one Toyota ride uh, by any means with Joe Gibbs Racing. He, of course, could potentially end up at front row, which is a tier one Ford team, but doesn't have the sustained, sustained success that we see at Joe Gibbs Racing. And then the Wood Brothers might be on the table, but that is a project in itself. I'm not sure if he wants to go over there without, you know, maybe thinking that he could end up at Penske one day. Who knows? But if you're offered the Joe Gibbs ride, that's better than anything Ford's able to offer you right now. You have to take the Gibbs ride at the end of the day. So Chase Briscoe possibly headed to Joe Gibbs Racing. And I think now the dominoes are going to start falling faster um, than, than maybe previously thought now that Martin has made his decision. So let me know in the comments what you think about MG, MTJ's retirement, Chase Briscoe potentially replacing him. Like and subscribe to the channel. Follow me on TikTok at BreakHard, Instagram and Twitter at BreakHardBlog.